Hi guys, welcome back aboard the boat. It's Sunday morning, it's 9am, and uh, I've made a decision. It's a horrible decision, and I'm sure I'll regret it later today. I've decided to remove the rest of the insulation out in the uh, V-berth. Yeah, that's gonna suck. It's gonna suck really bad, but yesterday I noticed that some rather big areas of the old insulation isn't really adhering that well to the hull, and I don't want my brand spanking new insulation to come tumbling down just because the uh, adhesive bond between the uh, old insulation and the hull has failed. So it's gonna suck, but I don't really think I've got much choice. My precious! Oh, my precious! I didn't have a chance to finish editing yesterday's video when I got home last night. As I mentioned, I didn't feel all that great, so I went straight to bed. But I did manage to get most of the editing out of the way this morning, so with a little bit of luck I should be able to publish it this afternoon. As for this video, I won't have time to edit this video tonight because uh, I've got plans. Wow, I just did the entire intro for this video in one take. Considering my track record, that's pretty amazing. <laughs> anyway, it's still a bit too early for me to start using power tools. I'm sure the other guys in the marina would appreciate me holding off for a couple of hours until I start making all that noise. Meanwhile, I think I have another video I want to shoot, but I don't know how it's going to turn up, so I don't know if you guys will ever see it. But I'll take a short break for this video, shoot another video, and uh, then we'll get on with the job out there. Just like that, it's three hours later in the day, and uh, I've run out of excuses to keep me from going ahead with the project up in the V-Birth. So, uh, oh, yeah, we better go deal with that. Some of you guys might wonder if I really just spent three hours shooting a tiny little video. Oh, and the videos do take up a lot of time, but no, I didn't. You guys know what it's like. Whenever you're aboard the boat, people just pop by to have a chat. And I absolutely love that. That's awesome. But I am a bit anxious to see if I'll ever get anything done once I move aboard the boat on a permanent basis. Anyway, enough yammering on. Let's uh, get on with the uh, stuff. Luckily, these play music, so that makes things a little less boring. Finally I'm done with the first side, the starboard side. Well, I'm not quite done yet. I want to see if I can use the oscillating tool to get rid of some of the glue residue on the uh, hull side there. That would keep the sandpaper disc on the sander from gumming up and that would be a big help. It looks like that gets rid of some of it, so uh, let's just give the entire hull a quick scrape and uh, see how it looks. Oh man, that took about an hour, so I figure 55 minutes for the port side of the boat ought to do it, right? Because my technique is improving. Fingers crossed. I got an idea. Aha! Scoring the uh, insulation really helped a lot in removing it. It only took 20 minutes to do this side. Let's get on with the sanding. Yay! I've brought along my vacuum to hook up to my sander, but before doing that, let's just for fun clean out all the dust out in the V-berth. Yeah, I know that sounds like a lot of fun, right? Nah. <laughs> but if I clean out all the dust and I then continue to sand the hull with my uh, sander hooked up to the vacuum, by the time I'm done we can see how big of a difference it makes having your sander hooked up to a vacuum.
Normally I use a bit of duct tape to hook my sander up to my vacuum because my sander is the cheap version that doesn't come with an attachment for, for hooking up your vacuum. But uh, it turns out that I can't find my duct tape. All I could find was this electrical tape and I'm pretty sure this is going to do a horrible job. But uh, let's give it a go. On my old sander I removed this because it's pretty damn close to being useless. I mean, there's some stuff in there, right? But you guys saw all the stuff that's in here, so it's clearly not doing a very good job. Okay, that's as good as it's gonna get. Now, this would have been much easier to do with just duct tape, but uh, let's see how this works out. Sanding with both the sander and the vacuum on is of course going to get extremely loud, so I'll just close the hatch and uh, pray that nobody minds. That electrical tape, that didn't work out very well. I guess I'm back to using that filter. Oh, there's so much more dust in here now. It, the air is thick with it. So I better put this thing back on. I think a big part of uh, next weekend is going to be spent just cleaning up all of this dust. I mean, there's just it's everywhere it's ah uh, well you better get on with it oh the battery i had in the gopro died halfway and uh, i was so focused on sanding that dang hole that i didn't even notice it so uh, i'm done i'm done with sanding but uh, let's go have a look at the mess i've made yikes we better clean that up. A bit of vacuuming helped a lot out here, and it feels great finally having all of the glue residue off the uh, side of the hole. But, man, that job sucked. I'm so glad I don't have to do that anytime soon again. And, of course, there's still the matter of the dust in the rest of the boat. And um, I've just had a look. It doesn't appear to be too bad sort of in the main cabin, but uh, out by the tiny locker in the head, that's going to take some time to clean up. But uh, that's a problem for next weekend. I've packed up most of my stuff, but before leaving, there's one last thing I need to do. And that's to see if I can use Scotchwell 74 for adhering the new insulation to the hull, or if I do still need to use this stuff. Remember that I mentioned previously that this stuff is so much easier to work with. First we should probably just clean up a little area of the hull for our test. And now we just need to wait those 10 to 20 seconds. This rather pitiful looking piece of insulation was the only clean piece I could find, so yeah, it'll have to do. That gets to stay out there until next weekend, but uh, let's pick up the last of my stuff and head back to the house. It's kind of nice that it's raining outside after all that dust. And I've got this nice bottle of cold water directly from the fridge aboard the boat. Life is pretty good. Well, let's fire up this <coughs> rocket and uh, head back to the house and see if there is a certain furry four-legged creature that's happy to see me. Okay, here we are. Oh, 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 oh,
I think she's happy to see me. On one of my previous videos, some awesome guy gave me a thumbs up for giving Yukul a treat. So, uh, yeah, I hope that works one more time. That's cool. <laughs> He's trying to go in between me and the radiator. <laughs> the treat's too big. <laughs> I'll end this video here. I need to grab a shower and put on some less itchy clothing and I need to take Jokul for a walk. Next weekend, I promise you guys, we'll get to epoxy in those stringers. I know I've kind of been saying that for the past three videos, but next weekend for sure. Okay, yeah, so uh, I guess that's it for this video. See you! Plants. I just did the entire intro for this video in one takes. That's take, not takes. Thank you. For this video in one take. Considering my track rod, the track rod, track record would be the correct word here. Thank you. An hour, so I figure fifty-five minutes for the port side of the boat. My my no, my 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 technique was what I wanted to say. Thank you side of the boat ought to do it. My technique is if is improve improve What the deuce? That way when I hook up the sander and sand these the 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 da 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 I'm today to hook up to my sander but just for fun let's uh, clear out What? And see how big of a difference it does having does how big of a difference it makes to have your vacuum hooked up to blah 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 blah. Yukul mm. and I hope you've enjoyed this video. To be notified about new content, please click subscribe. If you're new to the channel, I suggest you check out the introduction playlist. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and feel free to leave a comment.